Okay, let's talk about pole vault coffin com 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 confidence. I would say about 90% of the emails I get are people saying I, I have lost my confidence in the pole vault. What do I do? Here's the one thing that changed my life. It changed the athletes I work with life. Works with life. Words can't come out of my mouth. I need to talk slower. So here's the one thing that's helped me out the most. Pole vaulters are natural problem solvers. They like to solve problems. They're very analytical. It's fun for them. They're like, there's so many different variables and so many little things to try. And there's so many things to learn. It's a puzzle. You're fi you keep finding new pieces and I'm still finding new pieces. So here's what happens. Too much. So the older I get, Life is about balance. If you can be in the middle and each side of the equation is in balance, life's pretty good. Now here's what happens with the vault. Do you see that? Shoot. Where's the balance point? That's what I'm about to talk about anyway, so this kind of works for me. So you got negative and you got positive. Positive builds confidence, but if you have too much confidence, you're not very good either because then you're not fixing things. If you, then you can look at the negative, which is like the analytical side. And the analytical side is really good at solving problems, but it's not very good for confidence. So what happens is I find pole vaulters are really good at finding what's wrong. They add more onto that, and then all of a sudden their, pos their positivity, their confidence drops because they find so many things that are going wrong all the time. They're really good at it. Whoop! You're not in balance anymore. So this happened to me. Before we even landed in the pit, we'd be like, I did this, this, this wrong. My plant was late. I didn't swing to invert. I didn't do this, this, this. I played a game. And the first time I did this, I didn't do it with me. I did it with my athletes when I was coaching at North Dakota State University. For every one, not negative, for every one correction, I want you to say two good things. And they couldn't tell me the thing that was bad or wrong or they needed to fix before they told me the two good things. I will be honest, there were tears. People couldn't come up with the two good things. It was so difficult because their brains were so wired to find what was wrong all the time. They're really good at finding that. And if your brain's so good at looking at how much you suck and how bad you're doing and what's not going right, then your confidence drops. God, my tape is all messed up. Yeah. Your confidence starts to drop because you have way more negative stuff. Your confidence is just gone. So what I did is I tried to refill the positives. The life was a little bit more balanced. And what I found was their performances increased. What I found was my performances increased when I started doing this too. We went through our journals and reread everything. You suck, you suck, you suck, everything sucks, you're terrible, your plant was like, you suck. But you could kind of see the shift. It was like, I would write all that stuff and then it'd be at the end, it was like, but at least you were fast into the takeoff. And it was so hard to write it because my brain didn't like that. It felt like I was giving up. But is what happens, my confidence started to grow. And then when I was in balance with everything, I had the problem solving as a positive, which was helping, but I also had the confidence. So if you have two, if you have both of these working in unison, then you're a force to be reckoned with. Does that make sense? So guys, give this a try. If you're a coach, have your athletes, have them tell you two good things before they tell you one bad thing they did. And don't say bad, but think of it as a correction because it's not really a bad thing. It's just, they're just in, in that analyzing their vaults. And if you're a vaulter yourself, keep a journal. And after every jump, try this. There was a few times I was so upset that I just had to write, I didn't die. So I lived to do another jump. And that's okay too. Guys, remember, there's more than one way to vault. See what works for you. And life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. I will see you guys next time. Like, share, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Okay, bye. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Bow, bow, bow.